Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new episode of BitLife Controls My Sims Royal Edition. I hope you are all doing really well and I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. I am super excited for today's episode because we are going to be aging up this little cutie pie today. He is finally going to become a child and I am so excited. We also have a few things that are going to be happening today so I hope you're all looking forward to it and without further ado, let's go ahead head and jump into it. So the kids actually just went off to school. I sent them off pretty late unfortunately. Um, right now we have super handsome Frankie over here in his ridiculously handsome cowboy outfit. I really like him in his cowboy outfit so I'm not in a rush to get him to change. Um, Little Spencer is actually doing really great. His communication is level three, his imagination is level four, his movement is four. So he's actually doing pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick recap. Uh, so in the last episode, if you remember, we headed to the Calgary Stampede, the royal family visited Canada, and they got to go to the largest outdoor show, and it was really fun and a really great opportunity for them to meet the Commonwealth, and it was really cool. We left off at the age of 49 years old in BitLife, and not too much really happened. Uh, we left off, it says, my son Marquis Spencer started primary school, so we know we have to age him up, and uh, our father was diagnosed with constipation. Last but not least, we encountered a caterpillar. <laughs> so nothing really super exciting happened. Whoa, little dude. Um, we have 100% happiness, health, smarts, and our looks are 99% and our respect is 96%. So we're doing really great. Um, we're gonna go ahead, because we do have a new heirloom. Oh, what did we get? first edition holographic Charizard <laughs> Charizard card. That is so awesome. I love Pokemon. Um, so that's pretty much where we're at right now. We're definitely going to be aging up little Spencer. Frankie's being the dad of the year, putting the little cutie to sleep. We have a big birthday planned for him and we're going to go ahead and we're going to invite all over all of the royal family members, all of the kids, and I would manage to add the Prince of Norway, was it? I believe it was the Prince of Norway that we missed in the group. Uh, sorry, Denmark. So this is Brad, Prince of Denmark here. So we've added him to the group. I know a lot of you were like, hey, where's the sibling? There was two. So we have both kiddos. And on another note, the family is finished their royal trip right now. They're done their royal tour. So we really don't need Wade to be staying with us anymore because we are finally in the phase of Lottie's life where she gets to have a little bit of a break from, you know, being a princess. Um, only doing local events now. She's done a lot of traveling with her kids and the queen has finally said take a break and spend time with your kids so I think Lottie is really excited to have that time so in the meantime I am actually gonna go ahead and we are going to remove Wade from the family because we really don't need him here and last but not least we also adopted this little cutie here Ooh. Uh, we adopted this little cutie here, little Lulu. So I actually did adopt her on BitLife, but I cut that part out just because the video was already getting so long. So we adopted a cat named Lulu and uh, she's super cute. And we basically gave her to little, um, little Phoebe. So I think I'm gonna start the episode off with aging up um, Lottie just because a lot hasn't really happened. It's been pretty quiet so far. <gasps> what? Your cat Lulu died at the age of six. She was electrocuted after chewing through an electrical cord. Oh, we just got her. I'm really sad right now. My father is no longer suffering from constipation. I've already been asked for my autograph 4,605 times this year and our cat died. Oh no, look, she wants to play with Lulu by a cat wand. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm really sad. I'm gonna have her come over, be friendly. I'm gonna let her play with the laser pointer with her little kitty and pet her cat. And we'll go ahead 
afterwards. I'm not gonna film it because it makes me really sad, but we'll uh, get rid of Lulu. Oh, that makes me so sad. I was just bragging about how excited I was to have a cat and how much she loves the kitty. Oh, that makes me so sad. Okay, so Lulu has reached the end of her lives and now we'll pass on to a better place. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. We literally just got Phoebe's room all ready for her new cat. Oh, that's just so upsetting. We're gonna have to get her a new one right away. I'm gonna have her mom release Lulu's spirit though because when um, <laughs> when Lottie's little cat died, if you remember Lottie also had a cat that passed away when she was young, um, the cat was haunting the castle for a while and I forgot about it. So I'm gonna release the cat right away because I don't need the kids getting afraid of some ghosts. Oh, I'm so sad. She didn't even get to get a picture of her cat. Little Lulu. So that caused um, Lottie's happiness to go down big time. So I'm gonna have her spend time with all and I'm gonna have Lottie come over and she's gonna try to, you know, be there for her daughter, comfort her. Lately I feel like Edmund has been um, starting to get a little overwhelmed by all of the responsibilities that you know, have become his responsibilities as uh, the heir to the throne. He's starting to get a little bit older. He's what, 10 years old now? So he's kind of still, he's starting to feel the pressures. It hasn't quite set in for him, I don't think. Um, but I can see as he starts to become a teenager, um, he might start acting out and feeling a little bit stressed and pressured about everything and wanting to uh, break free a little bit from that. Now for Lottie, I think that she's happy to be home with her kids and being able to have a little bit of downtime in her life. So I am actually gonna let her come and she's gonna start working on her knitting again. I know that it's something that she really wanted to do. Um, and it is her son's birthday tomorrow, so maybe we can knit some objects. Um, well, we'll start with a plant cozy just because um, it might be easier for her to learn and it looks like Frankie is checking in on his daughter. Um, I'm gonna have uh, Lottie go ahead and have a conversation with Phoebe since they did talk about the cat. So it says, you and your daughter March and his Phoebe talked about why dogs are better than cats. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy that that's what came up as the conversation topic. But I feel like the conversation probably would have been a little bit reverse and that cats are better than dogs. In Phoebe's opinion not that's not my opinion we have her little pumpkin here too that she made which is so cool so it's the next day and the kids have to go to school pretty soon Edmund was just checking on his little brother little Spencer which I think is really super cute <laughs> uh, he naturally just goes and wants to be close to his brother and I just think that is absolutely so sweet of um, Lottie come upstairs and try to spend some time with him and just see how things go. Both of the kiddos are off to school, um, so we're going to go under relationships and she is going to visit with little Spencer. It says that we discuss the importance of making and keeping friends, so well, that's a good life lesson. And we can go ahead and we will spend time with him. Oh, we went to ride bumper cars. So it looks like we took him to some type of arcade or like some type of like fun place for his birthday. Um, and they do have something like that planned. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna let those two go upstairs and woohoo. And then after I'm gonna have Frankie go to his library and do some reading. I feel like he hasn't really had an opportunity to pursue, pursue his aspiration of loving reading. He is a Renaissance sim and he wants to actually finish reading three books. And I think that's something we could definitely do today. Um, Lottie for her aspiration she wants to achieve level four in her charisma skill so after they're done woohooing I'm gonna get her to work on that so both the kids just got home and it looks like grades are up Edmund is a grade B student now and Phoebe is a grade B so both of them got their grades up I'm really happy about that um, I'm gonna have them try to do their homework right away that way they don't have to worry about it for the rest of the evening while they are celebrating their brother's birthday 
and I have both the parents working on their aspirations. So Lottie just got level four charisma and it looks like uh, Frankie is on his way to reading. Oh, he's read two books, so that's good. I'll get him to read a different one after. It looks like Phoebe needs to draw two pictures while she's inspired. And Edmund is a social butterfly. He wants to achieve level five in the social skill and he wants to make a best friend. He's level three in the social and we're having a club gathering later tonight for all of his friends to come over during the birthday. So I can't see that being too big of an issue. I can see him being a little bit excited because you know, he's quite the charming young man and he's probably really looking forward to seeing all the girls. We've been we're, we've invited Princess Kiera, Eloise, and we also invited invited Princess Nika. So <laughs> he's going to have a lot of girls for him to hang out with and get to know. I'm going to get dad to go ahead and fill the buffet table that way it is out for the birthday. Thank you, dad. And the birthday should be starting here pretty shortly. And we'll see this little guy age up. We also get to see Madison. Madison is currently 80 years old. Oh my gosh. Her relationship with us is really high. It doesn't say what her health is, but I think she's okay. So I'm excited for us to hang out with mom for a bit. I think that'll be great. Oh, perfect. Birthday party is about to begin. Let's start. But before I forget, I wanted to uh, quickly go ahead and I want to actually register uh, Lottie and Frankie's everyone's job with the Minister of Labor. Jinty brought it up to me a few episodes ago for decades and I'm like that's actually such a great idea for the royal family too. So Lottie's title is Duchess. We'll put Lottie is the crown princess of England and the acting Duchess of Normandy. The eldest heir to the throne. <laughs> there we go. So now when we look here, we will have Duchess of Normandy. So I'm going to do that with everybody. Um, but for now, we will focus on the birthday because I would imagine a lot of our guests are starting to show up. So it looks like, oh, little Edmund, Edwin is here. He's so cute. Um, I'm really excited to have all of the family heading over. And I'm also going to have this kiddo go ahead and do a social gathering and invite all of the princes and princesses. We have dad coming and, oh, who's this? Oh, the mayor's wife came. I'm so excited. I didn't do all of their outfits, so she's shown up looking pretty fabulous. She's like, I'm super famous. Joanna is actually Lottie's best friend, so I'm excited about that. Uh, we have the princess, uh, the crown princess of Norway, and we also have our nephew, Christian Buckley. I'm so excited for you guys to see um, Victoria and... Um, everyone's uh, birthday makeover, or Victoria's makeover, because I did age her up, so she's looking a little bit older, because she is 60 years old. Oh my gosh, is she 60? I just realized I'm gonna have to actually give her gray hair here. She says she's 60, but on BitLife, she actually still has red hair, so it's okay. She's looking great for her age. Here, let me pause this for a sec. Who do we got here? I don't know who you are. Oh, that's the mayor. He showed up in an interesting outfit. We have the Queen of Norway and we have the Prince of Norway. So he's visiting with his mom. That's good. At least our guests are actually all showing up for once. Usually they don't. We got little Willow. Oh, I just love everybody. Okay, so we have Spencer coming over, he's gonna blow out his candles. He's gonna be such a twin to his brother. I just know it. He's got really high communication and imagination, so we could probably go with either one of those traits for them. Oh, I'm so excited. So he actually got hot-headed, which I think will be kind of a fun uh, way to uh, explore his character. Um, I think he might go for motor. 
So Spencer is a hot-headed kiddo and he is so cute. Are we surprised at all? Can we get a close-up of you before we give you a makeover? Oh, he's gonna be so sweet. I already can tell. He's so cute. So all of the royal family members are here. I'll get Lottie to come over and call everybody to meal. There is lots of food for everyone. Oh, look at this. Nothing beats the feeling of crushing the final boss. Does Jude like video gaming? I think he could like video gaming. Why not? We'll have everyone sit together and eat. And I want you to start meeting your friends. Look at little Edmund. Edmund is like dressing all casual. Like, I gotta look cool for the girls. Where are your little friends anyways? This is the problem with having such a big property. You really can't find anyone. I'm gonna have her go ahead and give a gift to Spencer since it's his his birthday. Oh, a Thanos action figure. That's what I would want. My mom actually has a Thanos action figure in her house right now and she refuses to give it to me. So everybody needs to call out Mama Love Sims because she, I think she's just keeping it to torture me because she knows I want it so bad. So we're going to give him that. Oh, he loved it. Of course he did. So I'm going to get Victoria I'll get Lottie to give him a gift after, but I do want her to come over and see her friend and hang out with little Joanna just because she's so cute and I think she's really happy to have her here. And I'm actually going to get her to sign an autograph for her too. And then I'm going to have them become best friends because in BitLife it said that we've been um, signing so many autographs this year. So I thought it makes sense that we'd be signing some autographs for people. <laughs> he looks so stressed. Joanna, it's okay. We're best friends, girl. There. So now I'll get the autograph sign. Oh, we're best friends. That makes me so happy. So we're having a pleasant conversation. We feel like we're growing closer and deeply connected. Duch Duchess Lottie has a powerful bond with Joanna that is a source, source of strength and comfort. Aww, that makes me so happy. Are the kiddos upstairs playing? No. Oh, here he is. So I gave um, little Rupert a makeover with the new um, paranormal pack since remember we were saying how we thought like Victoria and Rupert are like really into 70s and like older music and they want to open up a record store. I went ahead and I actually changed his look. I was so excited to use some of the stuff from the new pack and look how cool this hair looks. He's so cool. I never knew he had such a deep voice. <laughs> so I'm gonna have Lottie actually come over and thank him for coming. And Rupert's actually gonna say to her, you know, I'm so excited to let you know that um, me and Victoria actually finally purchased our own record store. That's why she couldn't make it today because she's actually getting the store set up for the grand opening and we were really hoping that you would be able to come tomorrow. She's like, oh my gosh, I would love that. I have time now, I'm finally back home, so I'm so excited that I can be there for you guys. So she's thanking everybody for coming. It was a pretty basic birthday. None of the royal kids showed up, so I think I'll have them, I'll invite them over tomorrow and we'll do something tomorrow. I'm gonna have her buy an action figure that we can give to little Spencer. These are more like heroes, but look, the purple, per the purple action figure. So I mean, at least it matches the description of Thanos. He is purple after all. And we can go friendly and we're gonna give him a friendly gift and we will give him the little action figure. She already had two in her inventory, that's so funny. So she's gonna say happy birthday to him. I'm so sad that he's blonde. I really wish we had a blonde boy, but in bit life he is got black hair, so. Did you like it? Yay, cutie. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in to create a sim. Uh, so this is his before. Obviously, he's ridiculously handsome. He's almost his brother's twin, but not quite. His brother's a little bit darker than him. Oh. I just love Edmund. I can't wait till we get to see him as a teen. 
Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give Marquis Spencer of Allendale his makeover and I will catch back up with you when I am done. Alrighty, so I just finished, I just finished Spencer's makeover and he is so ridiculously cute. I wanted him to still look different from Edmund, so I went ahead and I gave him cute little dimples and oh my gosh, I gave him thicker eyebrows and I really wish he was our heir, I'm not gonna lie, like he just stole my soul. Whereas like Edmund's more like nice and like tries to be responsible and put together and then we have his like bad boy brother. But I feel like for the storyline it could be good because this brother's more chill and will get into trouble more often and might drag um, Edmund into it. But oh, he's so cute. But anyway, so this is his everyday look. This is his formal and I tried to go with like, you know, when he has to be dressed up, he is, but he's just a lot more chill, uh, relaxed, laid back type of guy and I really think he is so adorable. So I really hope y'all like him because I think he's so cute. So I will go ahead and jump back into the game. So I just finished Spencer's bedroom makeover and I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know, I have like a whole vision for him. So I've kind of imagined this like party goer, bad boy, music lover. <laughs> I know he's only what, six right now, but I figure it saves me from having to renovate his room when he's a teen. And I think it's just super cool. So I hope you guys like it. I know it's a little bit more mature for him, but he's still got the playroom for while he's a kid. Um, and I feel like it just really matches his personality and like I said, I feel like Edmund's a little bit more innocent, a little bit more well behaved and I feel like that shows in his room compared to his brother's room. So yeah, that is that. So I'm gonna send everybody to sleep and then we will catch back up with them in the morning because I wanna send the kids to the arcade uh, with their uh, group of friends with like all of the royals. They're in town, so there's no reason why they can't. And while they are all sleeping, I'm actually gonna go ahead and age, age Lottie up one more year. 51. My son, Marky Edmund, started secondary school, but I think he's still only at like 11. Yeah, so we'll wait. Um, and lately I've been researching locations for a luxury vacation home. Oh, we want a vacation home. Our smarts are still pretty high, but I'll have her go ahead in BitLife, do some mind and body, and read a book. Perfect. You've read all 132 pages of The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Our happiness isn't perfect. Our looks need a little bit of help. Not by much, I mean it's 96%, but we will go ahead and we will do uh, gym. So I'll send her to the gym. So that has our looks up and we will do royalty and we will do a public service. We signed a decree that provides free calculators for all the school children. Woo hoo! So we are at a 100% everything for little Lottie. Uh, and I will catch back up with all of you when it is time for the kiddos to go hang out with all of their friends. So mom and dad are sleeping. They're doing their thing. The kids are at school. But I think little Spencer of Allendale is going to say to his brother in the class in between periods saying, you know, bro, we should sneak out. I know a window, we could crawl out, we could be back before school's even over and we can finally meet up with our friends. It's not very often they're in town. They came all the way out for my birthday. I would really like to spend time with them. And I'm sure Edmund would be like, I really don't think we should be doing this. But he's like, come on, it's my birthday. I never ask you for anything. Can you just lighten up for once and just have some fun? So Edmund's like, fine. So they've grabbed Phoebe and the three of them are going to leave school early and they're going to ditch class. They're probably gonna get in a lot of trouble, um, but it's not very often they get to go have fun, so I think it'll be okay. So hopefully every all the kiddos should start showing up here soon, and I think Edmund is gonna be really frustrated about the fact that his brother <laughs> dragged him out. So I'm gonna have little Spencer say hello to all his friends. So we have 
we have the princess here. Isn't she so cute? This is the princess of Denmark. I think this is Eloise, right? Yeah, I didn't do all of her outfits. I'll have to do that off camera. There's little Eloise. So it looks like uh, <laughs> all the girls really like little, Ed, uh, little Spencer. They all are surrounding him. <laughs> Where is Edmund? Edmund's like, well, if we're gonna get in trouble, we might as well have some fun. He's gonna go dance. I think they should all come and do some bowling together. So the kiddos are all bowling and having a good time. It looks like there is a bowling team. The Queen of Denmark came. Oh, here he is. Let's pause this. You haven't seen him yet. So right here, the lighting's horrible, but this here is the Prince of Denmark. I think his name's Brad or is it Brett? Brad, Prince of Denmark, and he's so handsome and he knows it too. So it looks like all of the family members have come, so I feel like the kids aren't really gonna be able to get away with the fact that they're skipping school. <laughs> um, but I think it's really good though. Like there is so much pressure on Edmund to be the next heir that I feel like even though he feels really bad that he's skipping school, that Spencer just brings a balance to his life that he doesn't get from anybody else. His brother is always there. He's confided in it. He's able to confide in him about the stresses he faces. And he also pushes him to have a little fun and just live a little. So I think that just like Frankie did that for Lottie, I feel like Spencer does that for his brother. He's really angry right now. Why is he angry? He's hot headed, so it's kind of hard. I think he's like saying to Edmund that, ugh, my teachers are always giving me bad grades. It's just because they're always comparing me to you. I'm so sick of it. And Edmund's gonna be like, well, I'll help you out if you need help. Like, school can be hard. I'll help you study. Mom says school's really important. It'll help us be better at being royals when we're older. Spencer's like, oh, is that all you ever think about? I think it's just the fact that I'm not smart enough. Well, you're gonna get there. So you have the two different brothers. The one brother who feels like life is super unfair because he's living in his brother's shadow. And his other brother who's like, oh, well, I can fix everything. I'm gonna be king. <laughs> so at least they're all getting to hang out, see their little friendos. Although most of their friends are kind of ignoring them. It looks like Brad's like, oh, hello, Eloise. I'm the Prince of Denmark. Who are you? <laughs> I think they're gonna have like a huge guy group of like just flirty princes just traveling the globe going to all these like cool clubs and <laughs> hitting on girls. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really fun when they get older. But anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think about uh, Spencer's makeover. I think he's super adorable and I'm excited to hear your thoughts. And until next time, I'm gonna say bye for now. So I had to change Yeah, I shook off all the bad